guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Uh, we are continuing on. Um, did I repair all my trackers? I think I think we did. Let's go. I'm just going to go straight to this guy. Okay. I'm going to use this tractor. Oh, should I use the... Let me see here. Wait a second. I'm going to take... This attachment off, the mulching attachment we're going to take off, and we're going to use the, yeah, we're going to do this one. And we're just going to use the picker-upper, the picker-upper, the basket on the, <laughs> whatever that thing's called, uh, that's what we're going to use. Uh, let's see, six. I think I'm going to do this one with you and I'm going to do this one they'll just have to live with it projected earnings 4799 that's pretty good mm. Sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee there. And here we go. Um, kind of trying to look around to see where some of the garbage is that we need to pick up. I guess see something over on the left. Not really seeing much. Something right there. Okay, something way over on the right. Okay, something down in the middle. Okay. Did we already okay we already did this view okay um who i see two way down there yeah i saw this i saw something over here yeah i saw that one <clears throat> and i thought i saw Okay, we can't <laughs> we can't go any more this way. Now I did see something over here on the left. Somewhere. Okay, there should be something there. Something there. And I think I saw a stick back here somewhere. But I could be wrong. Yeah, I see something way down there. Okay, two of them down here. Yeah, see the big... Well, you can't now. And there's a big old stick right there. And we just got one more thing to find. Ah, I think I'm going right towards it. Mm -hmm. Apparently I thought wrong. Um, well... See, I don't see anything lighting up, like, down at the other end. Which leads me to think that it's kind of down here somewhere. Oh, no, wait, I see it. I see it! Didn't we run up here? Maybe I didn't run all the way up there. All right. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> let's get to work. And we've got, let's see, seven to eight centimeters. Um, I, st I still get comments. They're like, always do the upper limit. But if I was the customer, 
I think I would want the lower limit. You know, I, I would want it to be get to be cut shorter. Though maybe that's not how. The, okay, wait a second. I'm gonna lower that seven. Yeah, seven centimeters. So now it's basically just cutting the grass here. Oh gosh, we're already destroying flowers. That's not good. I just don't think that there's a lot of precision with this mower. But I think it would do good on the larger orchard. Man, we haven't seen those in like a long time. Ah. I'm not really too entirely worried though about cutting the flowers down. See, like now we can kind of go full speed. Um, of course, we're just doing the trim here, so it's not. Not super critical. Now the next thing I could do, which may or may not set, uh, it may or may not, let's see, how much time do we have to finish this? 40 minutes. Uh, it, which may or may not save us time is actually go through and do all of the, um, the, the trimming around the trees now. I just don't think that's gonna save us like tons of time. Don't. So I am like full throttle right now. And I will go straight across here and we're just going to back up and finish this. Now I'm going to just try to make a straight line here, as straight as I can. Okay, there we got a little bit, finally got it to bog down. Watch out, flowers, I'm coming for you. Ah. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go straight across here Oh my gosh. This is pretty thick in through here. Yeah, see how we're bogging her down right there.
yeah, see there we got a little bog down. I, I do think they could do so much better with the sound um, of the cutting because the engine sound just doesn't automatically bog down. Uh, when it, you know, when it's getting kind of backed up, you know what I mean? It just doesn't. square here. And I kind of try to do the same here. It's rather difficult though. Okay, it looks like our uh, the grass the grasshopper there is a little bit more than a third of the way full, so just kind of keeping an eye on that. that a more than I thought I did or I didn't think I would overshoot that is the long and short of it about up to right about halfway full. See, I think this mower is going to do better on, on larger properties like this instead of, you know, really, you know, instead of in confined spaces like we've been using it. Um, you know, usually, you know, if I were running a mowing company in the real world, I would not use the mowers in a lot of the jobs that I've been using them. I'm just kind of experimenting and you guys can kind of follow along and watch what I do and you don't have to do what I do. It's probably better that you don't do to do do. Oh. Do 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 do. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Unless you really want to. I don't know. Now when I get up to the end of this field, I kind of feel like turning around and, and kind of getting this this half done. So I can go faster. Sorry, I wanted to get those little grass, those little cuttings or whatever. Wait, let me, there we go. Yeah, I wanted to get that area that I missed earlier.
So we're almost three quarters of the way full. Yeah, I was just wanting to cut this down um, on this side a little closer to the trees. Kind of a funny story about um, getting the mowers bogged down and not cutting grass. Um, uh, the, I used to live at a condominium complex and for a, well, like one summer, I just noticed that they were like the, the groundskeepers, the groundskeeping crew, <clears throat> you know, they would, they would, they get these guys and they would fly through and just cut the grass like super duper fast. And, you know, later on you'd go out there and you'd see like, Basically, this like where the center of the blade was. I mean, you could clearly see that it it, it was leaving like long strands of grass, and they would essentially cut over the same sections that they would cut, you know, the week previous, you know, the week prior. And um, it just looked awful. Eh. That's probably the first collision we had. But yeah, it, it looked freaking terrible. And I actually complained. I complained to our board and I'm like, you know, this looks awful. You guys have to be, you know, it's like, if I'm aware of it, you know, they, the board had to have been aware of it. I don't know if they were, they never really got back to me. But, um, you know, I told them, I was like, you guys need to be sure that, 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 that the mowing company's sharpening their blades. Cause this looks terrible. Uh, I mean, it literally looked like they were mowing with dull blades. That's really what it kind of looked like. But, or they were going way too fast and, and mowing, you know, just faster than the blades could keep up with. The, you know, the grass was getting bogged down in, you know, inside the cutting deck. You know the the blades just weren't able to cut through it, so one of those those two scenarios most likely. And um, I guess they must have complained because I don't know if it was like the next time they came through or maybe like two weeks later. You know they were cutting it properly and everything was fine after that. Wait, what am I doing? I forgot this. So our grasshopper <laughs> is almost <laughs> is almost full. So I think I'll go around this tree and then we'll go and empty it. And we're only at 50, just over 50 cents, oh, 50 cents, 50 per cents. So I want to go a little further. Yeah, let's go. We can get it in. Might as well wait for it to be full, huh? Eh, <laughs> huh, huh.
All right. So we have to go over here. <clears throat> Whoa. I was not expecting that. I almost like drowned on my coffee there. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, let's kick this in. I actually kind of like this area a little bit better because not well the, there's a little bit more room around the tree oh gosh around the trees okay, let's go back let's just go straight back down this way and we'll kind of hit the spots any of the spots that, you know, really need attention, we'll, we'll hit those. So yeah, I guess I'll just, we'll just cut the rest of this. This, you know, this mower does a decent job on this, but I think probably, I don't know if I should do it this episode or the next episode. Um, maybe we'll upgrade it to the, uh, the next mower up, or I, well, the, the final, the final mower, the finest. I don't know if it's the finest or not. But I am really kind of looking forward to using that mower. But we should, we're, we'll be able to get through the rest of this job on just this, you know, without having to uh, empty our, our hopper again. Oh, come on. Okay, I saw something right back here. I think we just got it. I'm just trying to kind of this is where I need like a third eye just to watch the you know like the little speed and bo mower bog down <laughs> his bog down indicator all right I think we would have had a strip there so I'm just backing that up I was just trying to make this a little bit straighter Why? 
why do you keep doing this? I left a big strip there. I was not expecting that. <clears throat> a little bit there too. Well, we'll clean those up at the very end. Not too worried about it right this second. Almost 75% done. You know, I was thinking the other day about what I would want. Like, if I could make this game better, what would I add to it? Or, you know, how would I change it? I would say overall, aside from, you know, non-reflective mirrors. Oh, I was actually going to look at that. Um, I did actually confirm that my um, screen resolution is not 1680 by 1050. I still don't know what, why it says that. Um, not a window, quality level high, V-Sync. Okay, so that's all good. So there's really nothing. There's not a, there's not an option to turn on first person dot. Oh, I think that's just like the dot, a dot where you're looking at. Um, yeah, there's not a uh, option to turn on, you know, mirror reflections, which really kind of sucks. But, you know, aside from probably adding more, um, more brands, you know, I would say maybe um, put in American maps or something like that, so it's not just uh relegated to the united kingdom um i think that'll appeal to a broader audience uh for sure but i would like to see them kind of build like a whole town out and then actually have us drive you know from you know, our base or our headquarters and actually drive out to each little parcel. That I think would make it, that I think would really give it, you know, an even better simulation feel. You don't have to flesh out the entire little town, but, um, you know, just the roads going from, you know, point A to point B or whatnot. And maybe having like a small area that you can drive around in. As far as the town. But I would love to see something like that. And then obviously weed eaters and push mowers. Probably weed eaters more than push mowers. You know, I was I was noticing um, when our grounds crew uh, we're, we're pulling all the mowers out. 
Actually, they're probably going to mow tomorrow, which kind of stinks. And they always get there, like, at the butt crack of dawn and wake me up. Because I'm usually, I usually go to bed pretty late. So they wake me up, and then I just feel like I feel terrible the rest of the day. But, um, but they, they don't have uh, push mowers. They kind of have, they have a mower, and in a way it's kind of like a, it's like a, it's like the mower and it's got like this little foot pad thing that you stand on, and then there's like these handlebars, and then I think the mower portion is actually on the front of it. And it's, it's rather interesting to watch them because it's, it's basically like you're standing up, <clears throat> not like a Segway or something like that. But yeah, you are like in a standing position mowing. It's kind of weird. But it's not like a normal push mower. I, I've never used one of those. I've never, I don't, I've never even really been up close to one to see how they operate or work. But, um, but yeah, I was just kind of noticing that that hey, they don't have push mowers. So I don't know if push mowing is a thing in in the the mowing industry. I guess for very specific. Uh, things it might be and there, you know, maybe some jobs call for it while others don't That would definitely make sense, too Am I gonna get done in under 30 minutes? I was actually thinking that I would really be closer to like the upper 30s But you know, we got 27 minutes in and I'm 95 and a half percent done and actually this might be the end right here Maybe. Now we'll have to turn around and come back. One last time. One more time. the red now oh, man you guys thought I was gonna hit the tree but I didn't, because I'm an awesome lawnmower driver. Pretty sure I'm the best lawnmower driver in the known universe. That is definitely not true. All right, cutting is complete. And I think we had... Yeah, we had some splotches like here. I think that's going to be it. Awesome. All right, so we're going to we're going to go back offload the grass. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I think I'll look and see what see what jobs we have left. Oh. Look at this. That is, that is a trip. I, for, I forgot to like change, <laughs> change the, uh, 
the camera perspective before I got started. All right, we are ready to go back to the main menu. Thirty-four sixty-nine, five seventy, and six seventeen. All right, print mag ad magazines. All right, so weekly profit is thirteen thousand eight hundred and fifty-six pound twenty-one pence. So we're doing really good here. Uh, unlocked another expert challenge. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? So we've got two garbage jobs. This one. Okay, we'll put Olivia on that one. <clears throat> We're going to put Ellie on the cottage here and then I'm going to do the next job. Okay, so we got 13 objects out here. They're all over the place. Something there. Another bottle. What is that? Like a can? I can't. I can't um, crouch in this game. You can't jump or crouch or anything. Two sticks. Anybody? Oh, sunglasses again. It's like the same ladies. Like. Always leaving her sunglasses here. <laughs> oh, 12. Okay. So we just have one more object. And I know where it is. It's right here. I told you guys that I knew where it was. Everybody's like leaving and un unsubscribing right now because of my awesome singing. I get shafted on that job every time. I, I don't know what's going on. Are you kidding me? Uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's go here. And then we're going to... Somebody, um, I need to find the comment here because somebody asked, why do I part exchange vehicles? This isn't like, it's not like you're scrapping the vehicle for parts or something. It's basically just where you're upgrading from this vehicle to anything else. I mean, I could go to the, the basic night if I wanted to. Excuse me. However, we're gonna try this one. We're gonna go, wow, Toro Grounds Master. And then, let's see here. I think if we choose the Ground Master, we can shop for, oh my gosh, look at all these attachments. So we have a rear discharge deck. So 72 inch rear discharge deck, wait. Oh, rear discharge deck, a flail deck. Oh my gosh, 72 inch and then the 60 inch. Okay, so this is a 60 inch flail deck. Larger volumes of grass to be cut. What does it come with standard? 60 inch rear discharge deck, okay. So we could go with the 60 inch recycler kit, I guess. Um. 
I'm going to assume that this flail deck, let's see, we got 53. Let's see. No, we don't have enough money to do all this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy. Let's do this. Let's do those. Um, let's see, let's pick a, try to pick a good lawn to do. Um, I don't want to do this one. So let's put Olivia. There, and then. Let's have Ellie. Do this one. Okay. And then I will do this one with our new mower. Um, let's see, has a, uh, no, we'll be all right. Confirm contract. Um, now what I do want to do, do I want to, you think I should just cut the lawn first? Let's see. So unparalleled, okay, so it's rear discharge. So I think if I put, so I think we have a, okay, so I've got the discharge on there. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. No. All right, so let's do this this next job. This is going to end up being a much longer episode than I had originally anticipated. Um, okay, so we've got this guy here. Did I just see? I did. Please check this little bit here. So we got two out of four. I don't think there's anything over here. See one down there, kind of in the bushes. Didn't we have this problem, this exact same problem before on this map? Where we couldn't find... Oh, there we go. There's that one. No, I think that's where... I don't know. See, like, you can't really look... I guess I can look back here. Oh my gosh. I was being swallowed up. Did I come along here? Ah, here we go. Got it. See, sometimes the grass is just so thick you can't even see. <clears throat> and
and then we have to cut it five and a half centimeters. So I guess we're gonna have to lower the deck. So we're gonna have to go to 5.7, I guess. So I'm just gonna go all out. It is, okay, I guess I'm just having to get used to this because I don't know exactly like where the, where the cutoff is gonna be for doing all the trim and stuff. So we'll, we're just kind of looking down here. Look at this, look how fast we can go. like I'm ice skating or something like I think it's just the speed of this tractor is so fast it's it's just like I'm going across ice or something so what I'm gonna do if you see kind of like that little um, nub on the kind of right side of the steering wheel I'm trying to keep the line of the grass um, right around that little nub, so hopefully you can tell what I'm doing here. Trying being the key word. We're gonna go around and we're gonna see how well it cuts. Okay, now I gotta worry about what's on the left side here. Look at this, I'm going like full speed. Okay, now we finally got into our bog down zone. All right, let's see how, how we do here. The back end still whips out a little bit, so we do get some of that um, Uh, some of the wheel coming over top of the uh, grass. There, I missed a little bit. Okay, so here we're definitely gonna have to do some trim. It feels fairly, uh, fairly easy to control. Like even close in. This is probably one of those uh, jobs where you have to get really super close to the flowers. Because I think actually in one of the previous episodes, up oh, see right there, you've got the flowers and the grass basically on top of each other. All right, so we did pretty good. But yeah, on a previous um, episode, we actually had. Um, I think I had to quit this job. I don't think we ever got to 100%. Do you guys remember? I I don't. I don't remember. Let me know in the comments if you remember.
Okay, 46% finished. So this is going pretty quick. But I mean, with a super fast mower like this, it honestly does not surprise me in the least. Whoa. Alright, let's... Um, Again, we got to be really, you know, cutting in really close here. Ah. That was totally my fault. thing is like it's so fast and you just chomp roll oh gosh it's almost too fast only the most elite mowers <laughs> only, only the most elite ground keepers are allowed to use them I can't wait to cut some really thick grass with this, like like the uh, orchard that we just did. That'll kind of separate the... I was going to say the men from the boys, but mowers don't have, you know, the things that make them boys, so, you know. Cutting the wrong grass, eh? No, I'm not. They need to fix this. I, I honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that they haven't fixed that bug yet. They've got to know about it by now. Another thing I like... I just thought I'm not seeing too many tire marks and now that I'm looking for them I'm starting to see them more and more I don't know why it's Accusing us of cutting the wrong grass, though, it's kind of silly. And let's go ahead and cut the... trim around here. And I guess I'll go ahead and cut the trim around here too. One hundred percent not cutting the wrong grass.
It's like, no, we weren't supposed to cut that grass. That was the habitat of the 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 uh, endangered eastern screaming bait. Uh, what is it? The eastern screaming brain beetle. Now they're extinct because of my lack of mowing skills. Okay, so do I have the center area finished? I think I do. So I think we just have to do the side area here. So let's go, oh gosh, get this going here. This actually has a pretty nice turning radius. Kind of hard to tell um, you know there's not a huge different differentiation of sound from the you know the blades running to not running Okay, so we're at 94.4 percent. Yeah. No. <laughs> See, here we go again with not being able to. Actually, I did see something right up here. There we go, cutting complete. Phew, just barely. Go ahead and raise up the cutter there. Take one last look at our mower. That's a pretty nice looking mower. Still $38,000 for a mower. That is freaking incredible. Or 38,000 pounds, so that means it's like, like probably 55, 60,000 dollars. Somewhere in that range, so yeah. That's a freaking expensive, <laughs> that's an expensive mower. Oh my gosh. Uh, so we've destroyed um, four flowers. No collisions, though. That actually kind of surprises me. So we are just <clears throat> raking in the dough here. Now, what I'm interested to see is if any, you know, if we get any new jobs that are, yeah, nothing really jumping out here. Um, I might actually have to try this one because this, the, the, the Jefferson Garden Hilltop uh, 
from the hilltop house that usually has pretty long grass so we might actually do that one um and then maybe try to chop through some of these these other ones see it just i don't know why it keeps giving us the same jobs over and over again i was kind of hoping that now we that now that we've got this new mower and actually i'm going to go in we're going to go to shop for attachments um so we got the Let's see, one owned, one available, zero owned. So I'm gonna just buy this one. One owned, one available. And then we were using the recycling kit on that. So now we should have all of the upgrades for that tractor. And then when we come back in the next episode, we'll do, you know, we'll pick a job. Not sure exactly which one I'm gonna do. Um, I think I might do the one at the, the Hilltop House, but we'll just have to wait and see on the next episode of mowing simulator lawn mowing simulator mowing lawn <laughs> oh gosh um as always don't forget to hit that like button it helps me out tremendously uh leave a comment let me know which uh which job you think i should do next and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button for this and many more videos um thank you so much again for watching i really appreciate it i am brad m73 i'll see you next time bye for now